Hi there. This is a last minute, sort of, kind of, going away gift for a coworker. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be so lame and so dumb, but I'm so excited about it. Um, <laughs> one of the girls at work is leaving to, after like five years, to work from home. She's got small kids, yada, yada. She's constantly eating ice out of a big gulp cup. She always stops at 7-Eleven every day. So we're going to make her her own big gulp cup since she won't really be leaving the house as much uh, after she starts this new job. Since I'm on a bit of a time crunch, I'm going to try this. I bought this at Michael's on clearance a couple months ago. Um, 10 bucks. I figured, yeah, they're small cut, uh, small bottles, but worth a shot. Um, I've been successfully using the regular clear cast, amazing clear cast. I like it a lot. I've tried a little bit of everything and I've, I actually like several epoxies. I think where I am and my weather tends to be pretty compatible. So anyways, it says that we have about a 20 to 25 minute work time. And then in about four to five hours, we can touch it. On here, it does say I can add another coat in two hours. So what I'm gonna do is epoxy method, a glitter base. I'm gonna go ahead and put my work light on it so that I have um, a good heat source. Not on it, but close to it, so I have a good heat source. And then this later this afternoon, I'll come and do a clear coat, and then we'll go ahead and coat it. Even though this says two hours, that's not what I'm going to go by. I'm going to go by this so that I know that my base will be solid enough that I don't have to worry about everything kind of moving as I'm applying the epoxy. So let's mix up just a small batch. I am going to do a big enough batch that I can epoxy method this and go ahead and coat one other cup. Normally you would only need to mix up like, I don't know, like five milliliters or something like that. Um, if that, because when you're doing epoxy method, you don't really have to do a lot. But because I'm using a chunky glitter for my base, I am gonna go a little thicker than that. I, I tend to find that it lays down really nicely. Plus in about two to three hours, I'll come and I'll lay it down with uh, parchment paper or a glove or whatever the case may be, uh, whatever's making it work best. Like I mentioned earlier, <clears throat> you would normally go really thin on the epoxy for this method, but <laughs> I can't get my hands on it. And like I said, because I'm using chunky glitter I want to go a little thicker and I did warm it up a little bit it's kind of cool out in my shed right now it's been cold for the last couple of mornings but just a little bit of a warm-up I didn't want to overheat it cause any flash curing or anything so now I'm just going over it with my Carmella chunky here the girl this is for is a little too bougie for basic white and I love this glitter. It's got like a pinkish shift and a little bit of green in it, which I think by the time I get the red and green vinyl on there should actually be pretty complimentary. <clears throat> I'm not super worried about my paint drips. That was me literally painting when it was barely above freezing outside yesterday. <laughs> not the best um, environment slash uh, conditions. That's the word I'm looking for. Isn't that pretty? Camera never does it justice. I saw the the best quote on TikTok. I've gotten better at not wasting so much time on TikTok when I just need something mindless to do. But it was this lady that said, hey, just like the camera never shows the beauty of a sunrise or sunset, we need to give ourselves that same grace when we see pictures of ourselves. I'm like, oh, that's deep, man. And it's so true. Same goes with glitter too. It never shows the true colors. I don't know how the glitter companies even get a decent representation. 
It's um, definitely all dependent on the camera and the lighting and the angles and the base and all the things. But just a quick once over. I like how flat that is already. It's going to be even better once I come out here and pat it down. I'm going to set my timer for about three hours because I don't really have a lot going on in here. So I don't want to forget because I will not be in here. But that is using the quick coat so that we can get our base nice and solid there. And the glitter is from Franz. I haven't been on here much lately to talk about her. She is still doing the thing. She's got so much going on, but she's got a great team still running the show back there in uh, Marshall. They no longer do the storefront, which is understandable. I imagine that that was really tricky, but they still fulfill their orders in a pretty timely manner. And she does custom molds uh, still. It does take a little longer, obviously, but they're like basic order stuff. I love this one. This one mixed with First Kiss is a mix that I made for one of her subscription boxes. It's so pretty. Gives it a whole different kind of depth. So we're gonna walk away from this, let it do the thing, come back and pat it. I might record that part, I'm not positive yet, but we're gonna come back, pat those little wild ones down. And then once we hit about that five hour mark today, I, I'm gonna clear coat it, probably brush it off, get any extra loose glitter off, clear coat it with matte spray paint, do another quick coat while we work on the vinyl. I'm cracking up. <laughs> She's going to flip when she sees this. It's going to be the bougiest 7-Eleven cup she's ever seen. <laughs> I'm literally out here by myself laughing as I'm designing this on the laptop. <laughs> Boy, I'm also easily entertained, so, you know, there's that. Okay, I told y'all before, this is my least favorite part of the whole thing. <clears throat> I hate the vinyl part more than almost everything else. I feel like I struggle really badly. This is definitely making me crave a Dr. Pepper right now. I love me a Sonic Dr. Pepper. I've been real tempted to make myself one of these as a Sonic cup. But then I'm worried that I'm going to consume more sodas. And I'm trying not to consume more sodas. <laughs> that did not work. That was supposed to stay put. I'm using my sticky mat. Even though it's not as sticky as it used to be. Kind of to my advantage. All right, we're gonna set this aside. You can hear the cup turning over there in the in the side. I was gonna put her name on it. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. It's literally for her desk at home. And this just makes it more uh, retail than personalized. <laughs> and that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm gonna work on getting this couple of little bitty air bubbles out and then set it aside for uh, when that cup is ready for vinyl. <laughs> I should have come out and pat that down prior to that two hour mark because by then it had actually set up really well. So I've got a couple more decently thin layers over this um, and it's still pretty spiky. So I'm gonna go sand that down with my palm sander and then we will lay that decal. <laughs> I could go ahead and decal at this point. This is decently smooth, but honestly, I still think it's a little bit too wavy for my decal to lay down as flat as I need it to. Um, it's going to be real obvious since that's not like glitter or anything. So I'm going to do one more coat, just a finish coat to kind of smooth that out just a little bit more. Let it sit here for a little bit. And then I'll come back this afternoon and put that decal on there, seal it up with some UV resin, and then 
one more final layer of epoxy, I think. Our last day is tomorrow, so I'm really on a time crunch. And I know you're not supposed to give it to someone, but she knows me well enough that if I say, don't drink out of this until Thursday, she knows. She knows the importance. So, time crunch. Engage. <laughs> it's so cool to me how you can stand and just destroy the finish of something like epoxy and lots of other stuff as well. And then you can just bring it right back to life just like this. I love it. It's it's cool to me. I know it's lame, but that's okay. I failed to hit record when I was putting that decal on there. Uh, oops. You get the idea. <laughs> I actually tried, you can kind of see a little bit of a haze right there. I tried doing the trim around the bottom. Working on this had me craving a uh, Dr. Pepper. So I grabbed this yesterday. I tried doing this little band around, even with the split right there and everything. It did not look right, so I took it off. <clears throat> Maybe if this, if this cup was shaped like this right here with that hard drop, maybe but it didn't look right it's off no biggie we're rolling with it i've got her last name on the other side i was able to convert each of those into a letter it took me too long but i think the payoff is worth it but i don't want to put her last name on here so since i've already said her first name so i uh, i've got my uv resin on there and now i am mixing up my epoxy here and then she'll be done I'm so excited. She's going to flip. So anyways, Alyssa, if you ever see this, we do love you. We're going to miss you, but you got to take care of you, boo-boo. Uh, <laughs> you know I can't talk. So anyways, I'm really excited. I'll put a clip, a thumbnail of this uh, at the end, just so you can kind of see what it looks like out in the sun. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments. Once again, the glitter is Carmella Chunky from Franz Glitter and More. It's not on this label. Um, earlier, while I'm thinking about it, earlier I had mentioned that I thought the pink and green shift on here would complement the red and green of the cup. Some of the Big Gulp cups have the 7-Eleven logo. This one doesn't. So if you're wondering, like, why did she say green? It's that. The 7-Eleven logo I just had it in my head. And I will say, the extra large has a green band. So that's probably what I was thinking. Who knows? Some days I just stop questioning myself and just roll with it. So once again, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. And uh, this is the amazing quick coat epoxy that I got on clearance. I like it. It didn't cure as fast today but I also forgot to turn on my heater before we ran out of town for a little sh short meet so overall though it's pretty good I like it have a good one